Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll share with you an amazing hair growth oil that will help your hair grow faster, thicker, healthier and fuller. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any good information. Now we'll also show you the best way to massage your scalp for ultimate and faster and basically like healthier hair growth. So I'll definitely suggest that you give this video a thumbs up and also share it with somebody you know could benefit from this and stay to the till the end of the video guys so you don't miss out on basically that good information we're about to give you about how to massage your scalp for amazing results so let's get into the video guys the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe will be some whole steel now whole steel is really good because it speeds up the hair growth process it reduces down drop and it boosts scalp circulation i added about two tablespoons of that now i'm going in with some hibiscus um dry hibiscus now i'm using one tablespoon of it hibiscus is really good because it stops hair loss it makes your hair look healthy and luscious it thickens your hair and adds volume it treats down drop it conditions against freeze dryness breakage and it also prevents split ends which is real good now my final ingredient for this will be some amla powder which i use one tablespoon of now amla powder is really good because it promotes healthy hair growth it minimizes grays it boosts volume it reduces downdraft and it also treats headlights which is really really good now if you've got children at home with headlights maybe they come back from school this is definitely one ingredient that you want to add to their oil to help you know kill the headlights pretty much and i also forgot to say that it can it conditions your scalp which is really important um, at preventing you know dandruff and also promoting healthy hair growth now after that guys i went in with my olive oil i added about 12 actually 14 tablespoons of olive oil because i later on went on to add some more um just like you will get to see so olive oil is really good for hair growth as well guys because it's really high in vitamin e and it also has mono um unsaturated fats which are really good for basically the general health of the scalp now you can use coconut oil as well for this if you want to it doesn't have to be olive oil it could also be argan oil or any other carrier oil of your choice um so like i said i added about 14 tablespoons of that um you can add more if you want to guys but i'll suggest that for this um size of ingredient that you don't add less because I don't know it would just be too thick so you can add a bit more if you want to So pop that all in and then give it a nice stir just to combine everything together well and then we're going to place this on a stove basically in a pot with some water basically we'll be doing the double boiler method now some people actually fry their oil like they put it directly into the pan i would not recommend doing that because you're going to oxidize some of the nutrients in the oil so it's always better to do the double boiler method it takes a bit long but it's much um, safer because you're able to retain all of your goodness or sort of ingredient um, sorry nutrients that you've got in your oil so like i said pop it in there guys stir it in between i left mine on for about one hour i know it's such a long time so you need to come back regularly and top up your water because it will eventually dry out um so after about one hour guys this is what my oil looks like um so at this point i'm pretty much ready to strain it now one thing that i would say also if you don't want to use the double boiler method guys the best way is always cold press so you can just infuse your oil with basically these herbs and the amla powder for a long period of time and then you can strain it that's the best way that you can sort of uh, retain all of the nutrients that you've got um in in the oil but the double boiler method is still a relatively safe method as well so after i've done that guys i allowed it to cool down 
I'm now going on to strain it. I'm using a tea cloth here um, to do it. So just pop it on there and then you can either allow it to just naturally drain into your bowl or you can squeeze it a little just to make the process a little bit faster. So it just depends on you. I later on went on to squeeze it because yeah, it was just taking a bit of time to get through. Okay guys, so this is what my oil looks like after I finished. Uh, you can see that it has a different color. That essentially just means that it has really well infused. Um, so we're kind of ready to go in with our essential oils. Now, so just that you consider using essential oils in your regimen because it's really good at um, helping stimulate the scalp uh, and increase blood flow to that area which essentially means that you know you're you have more opportunities for your follicles to get nourished and also for your hair to grow faster now i'm using the same essential oils so if you've been working with me from before you would know that these are the essential oils that i normally use which are rosemary essential oil tea tree and peppermint essential oils now i use these these ones especially and i'll suggest that you do try them as well because of the amazing properties when it comes to stimulating hair growth now i don't know how many drops of this i've added guys because my bottles just don't drip as well as they should so i usually just gauge the amount but you can add as more or as less i should want just depends on you so after i've done that guys i'm just stirring that in together just to combine everything and then that's it we've got our oil which is definitely really powerful really strong at helping us you know grow that hair faster now in this in this next part of the video i'm going to show you basically how i'm applying this to my hair and how i massage my scalp in order to uh, promote faster hair growth so i'll definitely suggest that you don't click out of the video so you can actually learn this way of massaging a scalp that can certainly help you grow one or two inches of hair per month like literally um so yeah just keep on watching so i transferred that to a, a jar guys just so i can see here just so i can easily store and also um, use it so transfer it to whatever you normally transfer it to um, to keep your oils so I'm now showing you guys how I'm going to be using this at this point in time my hair has been washed conditioned um, I stretched out my hair a little I don't know if you guys can notice um, it didn't really do a fantastic job but it just it was it was okay it was okay um, so yeah that's why my hair looks a little bit like this I think I recorded a video on how I stretched my hair without using any heat um, so I'll see if I can edit that video and post it for you guys let me know if you want to see it also like if you're interested I can definitely put it out there for you guys um, so yeah so essentially I'm just sort of applying the oil to my ends here first and then I'm now going on to my scalp okay now your hair grows out of, of your scalp or from your scalp um, so it's really important that if you're applying any type of hair growth treatment or oil and stuff like that that you apply it to your scalp sometimes I don't always apply treatments to my scalp to be honest it depends on what I'm trying to achieve and also it just depends on you know at what stage I, I am in my wash day sometimes I don't apply it to my scalp because I'm trying to avoid build up especially if I've just washed my hair and I'm not planning to wash my hair anytime soon and um, then I will usually avoid the scalp to be honest but in most cases I always apply my treatments to my scalp because it's quite important to nourish to nourish it because that's where our hair grows out from so apply it to your scalp guys to your edges and then you want to go ahead and massage your scalp now scalp massages like i said before is really really important at helping increase the blood flow um to your scalp area which means that it will give your hair more opportunities to grow so i usually massage my scalp for about five minutes sometimes even more it just depends on you know if i get carried away to be honest so go on and massage it really nicely really gently not using 
your nails but just the tip of your fingers so um, and also be a bit gentle like don't just be too too rough because essentially you might just cause more irritation than actual um, goodness so yeah massage that nicely and now I'm just gonna show you another way and I'll suggest that you try out this way guys it is really good this way is called the aversion method now this method is said to help you grow your hair an extra inch or two inches per month which I think is amazing now our hair normally grows half an inch per month so if you're able to double that or triple that or quadruple that that is definitely amazing and worth doing so essentially it's very simple to do guys the way you do this is essentially um, you kind of bend upside down so that your head is facing the ground and then you massage your scalp like that for about five minutes and that essentially is known to help Help, you know increase the blood flow to your scalp and that essentially just means like I said before more nutrients for your follicles and more ability for your hair to grow that's pretty much all you do so you bend and then you massage your scalp for about five minutes and then that's it you're done so this is it for me today guys I do hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next one bye for now